everybody and a very warm welcome to this evening's event, our joint dinner between the Newt Club and the Edinburgh Sarah Walter Scott Club. And we've come together for this event on a very special anniversary because, of course, this week, 200 years ago, was the first visit of a British reigning monarch to Scotland in nearly two centuries when George IV visited the city of Edinburgh. And, of course, there was another very important figure um, associated with that, Sir Walter Scott who had, it's fair to say, more than a, a fair share in helping out with making that a special occasion. Uh, so this evening we've got lots of activities lined up to mark that anniversary as well. Though I do like to think if we would have joined together this time 200 years ago, what might have been our topics of conversation? I think perhaps we might have been thinking, what on earth does Scott have up his sleeve for the next 12 days? Um, but perhaps more pertinently on the 17th of August 200 years ago, we might have been saying, did you catch a glimpse of the king in his kilt? Because I believe today marks the anniversary of the debut outing of that ensemble. <laughs> so this evening we're, we're coming together for, of course, a delicious dinner and I've been informed that the dishes and the drinks that we'll be enjoying this evening have been carefully selected to uh, represent or inspired by some of the dishes and the drinks that would have been sampled 200 years ago. So uh, a very, very great thanks to uh, Colin and James from the New Club for, for working hard to, to get the, that inspiration and bring those to us this evening. And then, of course, as you can see, tantalisingly in in the background there, um, we're going to enjoy some performances from Le Danse Antique, so uh, performances of 18th and 19th century dances and I believe dances um, that also take their inspiration or from the time periods in some of Scott's poems and novels. And then later on, we were also were absolutely de delighted to welcome our guest speaker for this evening, uh, somebody who needs no introduction, I believe, Alistair Hatton, so we'll all look forward to that later on. So I think without any further ado, I'd like to hand over to Le Dance Antique, and I do hope that everybody has a very enjoyable evening. Uh, thank you very much, Lucy, for the introduction. I would like uh, st to start first with briefly introducing the performers uh, for tonight, starting with the musicians. Alina Bolotetska on accordion, Tim McDonald on the violin, and um, me, uh, Alina Shmakova, and Ricky Barras from the Mercurius Company, it's a joint collaboration, uh, we will be dancing tonight. Our program will cover, as Lucy said, the dances from the lifespan of Sir Walter Scott, because he actually lived in a very exciting the dance history period, um, when uh, culture and type of the dances changed, uh, and we try to show you this in our little program tonight. Our first section will be roughly uh, 1770s, 1780s, Edinburgh dancing schools. Uh, a lot of French dancing masters worked in Edinburgh at the time, and uh, our program, our first set of dances will be very French in character. Starting from the Gavots, from the Gavot, uh, that was actually enjoyed uh, and composed by many um, um, composers in Scotland. But unfortunately, choreographer, to find the uh, Appropriate, authentic choreography is very difficult from this period. So we are using uh, the choreography for the uh, Gavot de So. It's from the Palace de So in France. And apparently, um, old pretender actually visited one of the evenings in the Palace de So and could dance this Gavot himself. The second dance will be uh, Folie d'Espagne. Um, originally, it was performed for the uh, production by Molière, Bourgeois, Le Bourgeois Gentillon. Uh, but uh, Folie was... Uh, a hit for many, many centuries, and uh, Scottish composers wrote variations on Falia. Uh, for example, William McGibbon in the middle of the 18th century, and Nathaniel Gao in the beginning of the 19th century. And we finish uh, this uh, set with uh, Lure, that um, is also from, uh, which is from the Bourgeois Gentilion, uh, and it's actually uh, the dance that was, was advertised in Caledonian Mercury, uh, that it was taught by Mr. Martin in the dancing school in Todrick Wind in the old town of Edinburgh. So uh, without further ado, I hope you enjoy our performance tonight. Thank you. 